Okay, we're starting with circles. Um, What's this called right here? Okay, that's the center. Um, to label a circle, you put a little circle, with, and then you use the center to name the to name the. So this is circle C. Okay, this is called a what? Diameter. Radius. Radius. Yes. <laughs> And the radius is what kind of geometric geometric thing? Uh, line segment. Line segment. Yes. So we could say the radius is segment CB. Okay. This is called a what? Diameter. Diameter. Okay. And then how about this one? What's that? Rectangle. That is the. Called a, it goes from one point on the circle to another. It's called a chord. I knew that. Okay, a diameter is a type of chord, but it goes through the center. Also, uh, what's the relationship between the length of the diameter and the length of the radius? Two radiuses equal the diameter. <coughs> Two times radius equals diameter. Um. Yeah. Notice the diameter is also line segment, chord is <coughs> line segment. Uh, what if we're talking about, let's see. Uh, so we got chord DE, but what if I want to talk about from there to there? What that, what's that? Anybody know? What's that called? The arc. Arc. It's called an arc. So to label it. <coughs> bless you. God bless you. To label it, there's a little arc symbol, so that'd be arc DE. Um, so you could say any part, though. You could say arc EB or whatever. Okay, but if you want to talk about an arc that goes the long way around, like instead of DE, if it's like D all the way that way, you'd have to use three letters, like DBE or something. That's called a major arc, and these are just minor arcs. They go the short way, they go the long way. Uh, if I say arc ABC, since that's half the circle, that would be called a semicircle. Special arc that's exactly half the circle. Uh, okay, what's the uh, distance around the circle called? Circumference. Circumference. Anybody think they might know what the circumference formula is? Pi uh, squared. That's the area. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need that later. Two R pi squared. No. Or pi r squared is the area, which we're not doing that yet. Or what is r what is two times r the same thing as? The diameter. Diameter. Times pi. Okay, that's kind of where pi came from. The Greeks realized no matter how big the circle is, if you pick a diameter up and wrap it around, it takes a little bit more than three diameters to get around the circle. Anyways, uh, I think I, I think we got all the circle stuff. Okay. Um, so the other thing we're talking about, well, one of the other things. There's a lot of definitions. Hopefully most of that stuff is old. Maybe the arcs for new. Um, is curves. And by the book's definition, a simple curve is just a set of continuous points. Like they're all together, like that's a simple curve. Um, remember points don't actually have any size, so there's like infinite points on that curve, simple curve. Okay, that's a simple curve. Uh, this is a closed curve. What, what do you think makes it closed? Because it never ends. Well, it's, 
it's not open, you can't get in there. Basically, their definition is it like ends where it starts. So you can't, you can't get in there. All right, and uh, a circle or like a square or something, that would be a simple closed curve. Okay, what makes a curve uh, not simple is if it crosses itself. So that would just that would just be a curve. It's not closed because it's got these end points out here. Uh, it's not simple because it crosses over itself, so it's just a curve. So most shapes, like two-dimensional shapes, are simple closed curves. Um, You guys got that? Mm -hmm. yeah. This one's simple because it doesn't cross itself. Oh, by the way, it could be straight. Um, by the book's definition, it could be straight. That's still a curve, simple curve. All right. Um, so a polygon, you guys know what a polygon is? No. Kind of, yeah, it's specifically a shape with straight edges. But a polygon has to be closed, has to be simple, and it has to be made of uh, line segments. So it has to have straight edges, in other words. So uh, if I do this, that's not a polygon because it's not line segments up there. Uh, this is not a polygon because it's not closed, and this is not a polygon because it's not simple. It's not simple. Uh, it crosses itself basically. That's still the so these are all no-nos. So what is a polygon if it's not these things? Square. Square. Yeah. Octagon. Okay, what's the smallest side sided polygon? Triangle. Triangle. So. That's a three-sided polygon. What's a four-sided polygon? Square. Oh, diamond. Like diamond shape? Did you say diamond? Okay. So here's an example. This is. No, diamond. Uh, actually, that's a pentagon. That's five. Is it Pac-Man? No, that's that's five. Something weird like that. Um, that would be four sides, but it's not a square or rectangle, so what would we call it? Okay. Anything with four sides is a quad or ladder. So squares and rectangles are special types of quadrilaterals. Which we're not gonna get we're not gonna get into that much today, but uh, five sides. No. Pentagon, Pentagon, six, hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. 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 Uh, seven, hexagon. it's called a heptagon, wow. heptagon, eight, octagon, octagon. nine, nonagon, nine. Nine. Nine sounds like nine, nine. ten, Ten-a-gon. decagon, like decade is ten years, decagon is ten sides, um, yeah, 12 is dodecagon. I don't know what 11 is. They never show 11. I don't think they put it in the list. Uh, that, that list, you might need it, is... Oh, yeah, they do have it in decagon. On the bottom right corner, page 32. Uh, okay, what does equilateral mean? Equal sides is what it means. So you've probably heard it with an equilateral triangle, right? It means yeah. equal sides. What's equiangular mean? Yeah. Equal angles. Equiangular. So it turns out that all equilateral triangles are also equiangular. If a shape is both equilateral and equiangular, then it is called a regular whatever. 
So let's say regular triangle called, well, it's just called equilateral. Let's say regular quadrilateral called. Square. Square. So basically, they're like perfect. So a stop sign is a regular what? Oh. Octagon. Yeah. So regular means that everything lines up perfectly. The sides are all the same, the angles are all the same. Um, What's perimeter mean? The distance around, yeah, the length around the shape. Um, we talked about all that. There's so many little things to talk about in this lesson. None of them are too hard by themselves, but they add up to a lot. Okay, hopefully I'll remember all the things I need to mention. On page 35, Uh, it says classify each figure, we're starting, classify each figure as a curve, closed curve, simple curve, simple closed curve, or not a curve. Use the most specific classification possible. Number one with that curly thing would be a what? Curve. Curve. It's not simple because it crosses itself. Number three, what kind of curve is that? It's simple and close. It doesn't cross itself, so it's simple. Because it ends where it starts, it's closed. You can't get inside it. Number five? Not a curve. Not a continuous set of points. Uh, number four is still a curve. It doesn't matter that it the arrows that it keeps going, but you gotta say. Wouldn't it be a simple curve that doesn't cross? Yeah. Okay, number seven. Um, if the figure is a polygon, classify it by the number of sides. If it's not, explain why not. Then classify it as convex or concave. Okay, let's start with the first part. How many sides does number seven have? Eight. So it is a octagon. Okay, and then if it's a polygon, they also want us to say if it's concave or convex. Concave means it has a cave, it has an indention. Convex means it doesn't have a cave. So do you think seven is concave or convex? Concave. You are correct. You guys have heard of like concave lenses, convex lenses. Uh, number nine, is that a polygon? Not. Why is it not? Because it doesn't have any sides. Uh, doesn't have, yeah, it's a fine segment size. Number nine, number nine, number nine, not number eight. Doesn't have, the sides aren't straight basically. Okay, number 11. How many sides does that one have? Four. So it's called a quadrilateral. Concave, convex. Concave. So it has to be closed, it has to be line segments, it can't cross itself. Alright, number 13. Name the sides of the polygon. So what's, like what would one of the sides of that polygon be on 13? AB, line AB. Line A what? Or AH. Line AH, segment AH, right? Yeah. Okay, and you have to list them all. I'm gonna let you guys do it. I'm not gonna do it. Did you have to? Yeah. No, so much work, so hard.
Okay, how many sides did it have? So what's the, there's another part of that question. It says, what's the most specific classification? So what can we call it? Octagon. Yeah, they put, they went ahead and put regular octagon, because it looks, you know, perfect. Okay, for number 14, a diagonal is a line that goes from any vertex to a non-adjacent vertex. So it goes from one corner to another, but it's not along the side. So this would be a diagonal, and this would be a diagonal. Okay, so it goes from one vertex to a non-adjacent vertex. It's gotta be inside the shape somewhere. Okay, 15, do you guys see the circle, the yellow lines? They're a little bit hard to see. Um, it's just matching, so for 15A, it says segment XD, it's the laughy face. Uh, so what is XD in the picture? It's a what for that wheel? It's a radius. It's a radius. So which is option B? So you put 15A, B. B is Roman numeral for five, you guys remember that? Uh, B is segment DC. DC is a what of the circle? Chord. It's a chord, which is option three. So I've got B three, Roman numeral three. X is the what of the circle? Center, so that would be option two. D, what is that thing? an arc, so that's option one. And E is the diameter, yeah. Uh, they actually put diameter and chord because a diameter is a type of chord. Okay. 16 says, what is the in intersection of the interior and exterior of a circle. So do you guys remember what intersection meant? Like this intersection? What, is it, what does it mean? Or like only, like only, what only what they have in common. So what do the interior and exterior of a circle have in common? The line that makes them speed. The circle itself? No. So what should we put? No. Oh, this is 16. Yeah, then they call it the empty or the null set. Yeah. It's nothing. Okay. 17. Uh, how do we name the circle in the figure? Um, circle in the picture on the right. It's just called circle C. You name it by the center. The circle symbol has a little dot in it. Okay, um, name five radii, and what do you notice about their length? So what are the radii in that picture? Like, what? name the five radii in the picture. CA, and their segments, so CA, CY. Uh, did we skip one? That's not really. CT. Okay. Uh, what do you notice about their links? They're the same. Okay, 21. Name six triangles. Uh, this might be 
a little bit new too. There is a triangle symbol, and guess what looks like? Triangle. Um, so what would the what do you think we how would we name the biggest triangle in that picture? Yeah, A B E. Uh, do you think the order of the letters matters? No, it doesn't. So triangle A B E. What's the uh, little triangle on the left? Would what would that be called? A B C. Little triangle in the middle. A C D. Little triangle on the right. A D E. Have we missed any? Yes, it tells us there are six in the question. So what a, what a triangle did we miss? Okay, yeah, I've heard both correct answers. Uh, a, B, D, and A, C, E, the medium-sized triangles. Is there only one question on that? Yeah, just one. Okay. On 22, you guys ready? It says name all the angles besides straight angles using the shortest possible notation. So what could we call that angle in the bottom left corner? A, B, C. Okay, you could call it angle A, B, C, but that's not the shortest thing you could call it. You could call it angle B. Acute angle would be the like classification of the angle, not the name of the angle. So angle B is one of the answers. Uh, just to the right of that, you could call that angle one, and angle two, and angle three, and angle four, and angle E, and angle five, six, seven. But at the top there, there's more than just three angles at the top. Besides angle five, angle six, and angle seven. You guys remember the angle symbol from the other day? It just looks like that. So it's like angle B is one of the angles, angle one. Um, what angle up top, what angle up top is there besides angle five, six, or seven? A. Angle A is not specific enough. Angle A, uh, B, A, C, or B, A, C. Okay, angle B, A, E is one of them. You guys see what angle that is? Mm -hmm. It's the big angle up top. Oh, okay. B, A, E. You just trace it like you were saying it, B, A, E. Okay, there's another angle up top besides that. What would angle five and six together make? Oh, angle A, B, A, E. Yeah, angle bad. And then there's also six and seven together. Angle C, A, E, yeah. So there's, there's a lot. Well, all the other angles, though, were just obvious, like angle B, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle E. But up top, there's actually like six angles, if you count 5, 6, and 7, plus the larger angles. How many are there? Oh, I think there's like 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, 12. Six up top, six down below. Oh, how many? Is it 12? Yeah. I have 15 right now. Okay, you're not supposed to have any straight angles. You should have six down below and six up top. There were straight angles. Makes a straight angle, makes a straight line. Yeah, it's one of them. Huh? Oh, I thought it was a straight angle. Ang you said angle B? Yeah. It's that angle in the corner. I'm, I'm confused on what's a straight angle. I'm confused. Oh, C and D, okay. No, well, it'd be like angle B, C, D would be a straight angle. It's a straight line. Oh, uh, okay. Then, what's 
Okay, so what about so you don't, is angle don't C A D one? Angle C A D is the same thing as angle six, so you just call it angle six. Okay, 23, we're almost done. Uh, what side of the largest triangle is opposite angle B? E. E is not a side. Oh. So look at the largest triangle. What side is opposite angle B? You guys know what they mean by opposite? Means like across the way from like facing you. From the angle C? Or an E? No. What side is opposite angle B? So it'd be this side. A E. Or A E. A. We're talking about the big triangle. So yeah, it's side A E or segment A E is opposite angle B. Okay, 25. It's an intersection thing again. So it says find triangle ABD. Do you guys see triangle ABD in the picture? Okay, got that in your head? Then find triangle AED. All right, got that in your head? Mm -hmm. Now what's the intersection of those two? Line AD? Yes. Or segment AD? The only thing they have in common, yeah, is the side AD, so segment AD. Do you guys follow that? They share one side, they have one side in common, and that is segment AD. Okay, then we jump all the way down the bottom. I'm not going to be doing these, but it says find the perimeter of each. So how do we do that? Add them all together. Add them all together. Uh, how about 38? What's another way we could find that perimeter besides adding them all together? You could do one fourth times four, right? That would also work for that one. For what number? Those bottom questions are just find the perimeter. Um, oh, we're skipping that middle section. Yeah. All right. 